mid-October 1962, a program was initiated to develop a highly specialized reconnaissance system. Under United States Air Force contract, the Ryan Aeronautical Company developed a special ELINT version of the Firefly drone. The contract included all antenna, pressure sensor, and electrical power systems. Temco incorporated electronic receiving and recording equipment modifications in two R-47 aircraft. Under direct government contract, ELINT equipment for the drone was developed by the HRB Singer Company. The optical tracking equipment was developed by the Barnes Engineering Company. The system concept is based on combining the capabilities of the drone reconnaissance probe, R-47 ELINT recording aircraft, and two surface recording and optical tracking stations. The drone is air-launched on a mission program to penetrate an area of interest. A flashing light beam from the drone is sighted and tracked by surface optical tracking stations. Electronic augmenters in the drone increase the probability of acquisition by radar. All electronic signals received by the drone are converted to video or CW level signals and transmitted to R-47 aircraft and appropriately positioned surface stations equipped to receive, assess, and record this information. If defensive weapons are fired, the radar guidance and fusing signals received by the drone are converted and transmitted. An explosion in close proximity to the drone would be within the field of view of the optical tracking equipment, and the detonation characteristics and location relative to the drone are observed and recorded by the surface optical tracking stations. Overpressures created by the explosion are measured by pressure sensing devices on the drone and transmitted to the R-47 aircraft. Miss distance in range and azimuth from the drone can be determined from this information. The flight of the drone from air launch to the recovery area is controlled by the programmer and is not subject to capture of control by unfriendly forces. The signal intercept system installed in the drone incorporates one scanning and four broadband receivers covering selected portions of the frequency spectrum between 100 and 11,000 megacycles. In order to maintain broadband integrity, L-band is given its own separate data link transmitter. CW levels on all bands, except P, are transmitted through FM, FM telemetry transmitters to the collection platforms for recording and analysis. P, C, S, and X-band information is converted to video form, processed through a linear mixer, and transmitted by AM-FM telemetry in the same manner. Pressure sensing devices sense pressures on the surface of the drone, convert this information to video form, and pass it through the same transmission system. A separate system for radar augmentation on S and C bands is incorporated in the drone. The system functions through the use of traveling wave tube amplifiers and filters. The flashing light system is made up of the battery, flasher modulator, and lamp assembly. The nose of the drone was modified to accommodate the scanning and broadband receivers. All receiver antennas were installed in the nose area. Transmitting antennas were installed in the tail area. The overpressure sensor system is located in the dorsal fairing. The data link transmitter was installed in the forward section of the equipment compartment. Traveling wave tube amplifiers used to augment S and C bands were installed along the lower interior of the drone. The high intensity flashing light is located in the aft ventral fairing below the empennage. It was necessary to make a detailed study of radio frequency interference problems in the vehicle in order to maintain strict integrity of the intercepted signal data. The RFI work required rebonding of the basic drone structure and extensive filtering of signal and power circuits in order to reduce all interference to an acceptable level. With all installations and tests completed, 
an integration check of the entire drone and its subsystems was performed prior to the flight test program at Holloman Air Force Base. A captive mission profile was established to determine overall performance of all systems in operation. All personnel were given a final briefing for the mission, and the first captive test flight was airborne at 0500 hours on the 13th of December. The mission was flown at 25,000 feet and 270 knots true airspeed. The results of the first flight and environmental tests indicated the need to maintain heater power and operating temperatures on the ELIND package at all times during flight. With this modification incorporated, the ensuing flights were all concluded satisfactorily. Four additional captive flights were conducted during the ensuing week at Holloman Air Force Base using the facilities of the White Sands Missile Range. The broad spectrum of all desired frequencies was monitored, and signals received by the drone were converted and transmitted to two R-47 aircraft satisfactorily. The optic system was checked by a ground station along the range, and the drone was tracked for a distance of 98 nautical miles. At the end of these flights, a need was indicated for a means of performing a functional check of the system prior to launch. This system was provided and operated satisfactorily on a captive flight check at a later date. This installation completed all test requirements, and the system now stands ready to perform under actual mission conditions.